Donald Trump in early January said that North Korea, the idea that North Korea would test an ICBM that could reach the United States won't happen. Looks like it did. Joe Cirincione is head of the Plowshares Fund. We borrow him every once in a while from the Plowshares Fund as our own foreign policy guru. Hello, Joe. Good it's to see you. It's always a pleasure to be here, Bill. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank me. you for coming in. How big was this missile How and how bad is it? Uh, this is a major milestone in uh, in the North Korean program. They can now hit the uh, North American continent. They can fly as far as Alaska or going south, Singapore or Australia. Uh, it, it appeared to function flawlessly. This is a serious weapon. <laughs> this is not something patched together from, from a series of scuds. This is a major advance, and we're not seeing the end of it. There were more to come. There were rumors that uh, the failures of some of their missile tests were because we were conducting a little cybersecurity against their system. Does this does this mean that our cybersecurity isn't working, or that we weren't doing that, or they found a way around it? Or? If that was true, it certainly isn't true w with this. And in fact, most of those accidents were with one particular type of missile, the Musadon. And, and it's very possible that there were just flaws in that design rather than any cyber threats. You don't see that much talk about it now. They've had a series of successful tests. But remember, in a missile test program, you will get failures, yeah, often in right. equal numbers. But they've, been, they've just been cranking them out, one test just about every three weeks. So do they have uh, parallel programs, one program to test the missile and the other program to develop the nuclear weapon that would go on top of the missile? Yeah, so they've done five nuclear tests since 2006. They went nuclear during the Bush administration. They went. They perfected their nuclear weapons during the Obama administration. So both Bush and Obama failed to stop their advance uh, in nuclear and, weapons. In nuclear weapons, and the missile program has accelerated tremendously in the five years since Kim Jong Un has been president. More missile tests in his tenure than in his father and grandfather's combined. Just a little point. The fact that they did it on the 4th of July is no accident. No is accident. They, they do this all the time. They send a message. They did a missile test the day that Barack Obama was giving his major speech in Prague in April 2009 just to show him up. This is a, a fourth effect that Kim Jong-un even said this in his statement, a 4th of July uh, present for America. Oh, he did? Yeah. Right. So uh, what are our options? Uh, here is uh, H.R. McMaster's National Security Advisor, yesterday who said basically well no we're not going to do a military strike right away but the president has directed us to to not do that and and to prepare a range of options including a military option which nobody wants to take well do, that do we have many options there is no military option you can have military plans you can show that there are things you can do and there are for example south korea released a video uh, just uh, this today in south korea yeah. time of a South Korean uh, attack on Pyongyang f featuring uh, South Korean missiles and, and, and U.S. bombers showing what, what we practice with them, a decapitation strike. Very dangerous thing to do. Can you do that? Yes, you can physically do that. What happens next is the problem. And what happens next, as uh, General, as uh, Secretary of Defense Mattis said, is a war unlike anything anyone has seen in their lifetime. You have a major war underway that would kill hundreds of thousands of South Koreans in the first few hours. And we have American troops in between the two. 28,000 American troops plus their dependents uh, stationed in, within range of South Korean artillery, rockets, and the short-range uh, nuclear-armed missiles that they probably have. So this could go not just a major, major Korean-style war, but the, the world's first nuclear war. We've been dealing with North Korea, I guess, since the end of the Korean War, yeah. correct? Right? Yeah, never signed a peace treaty. There's only an armistice between the United States and North Korea. Didn't we at one point convince them to abandon their nuclear we weapons did. program? We did. The only thing that has worked, so this is a, I, I have to, I've, I, I've done interviews on this in the last few days and the last few weeks, and people keep saying when negotiations failed, no. No, no. Negotiations work. It's the only thing that has stopped them. 1994, we stopped their plutonium program in right. its tracks, and they followed that up with a test moratorium on missiles from 1998 for eight years up until 2006. They only broke out of those two restraints when the Bush administration, led by Dick Cheney and John Bolton, pulled out of these agreements and said, We're not, we don't negotiate with evil, as Dick Cheney said. We defeat it. And they adopted a regime change approach to North Korea, and that's when North Korea ramped everything back up, and it's been uh, 
pedal to the metal since then. So, um, the it sounds like the only reasonable, rational, successful path would be to pursue negotiations again, resume negotiations, correct? Either correct. direct either direct or indirect. Correct. It's the only thing we haven't tried since since 2006, 2007. And we did do it once and it worked. And we and it worked. And so now you you're basically out of options. So everything you're seeing now is just either bluss, bluster or wish wishful thinking. China's going to take care of it. China will put right. a, the tweet that Donald did yeah. the, the other day. He'll put a heavy move, not going to happen. Military option, not going to happen. Sanctions, we're convening a special meeting of the UN Security Council. Yes, that's good, and there are more things we could but do. But they've had sanctions for... A absolutely. Military maneuvers in the region. We already had some, a joint U.S.-South uh, Korean missile test of our own, short-range missiles that could reach Pyongyang. Yeah, good pressure, but that's not going to coerce North Korea into collapse or compliance. Right. Peter, do you have the, the, the Donald Trump's tweet this uh, oh, yesterday? <coughs> I yeah. do, I do. Yeah, moments after the uh, it was it was the, so the, tough. The, the so test tough. was confirmed. This is Donald Trump with with two tweets. Two tweets. North Korea has just launched another missile. Does this guy have anything better to do with his life? Yeah. Hard to believe that South Korea and Japan will put up with this much longer. Perhaps China will put a heavy move on North Korea and end this nonsense once and for all. Yeah, what is this wishing that China is going to solve our problem? Well, what what a leader. What it shows you is that is a very scary thing, I think. When you get to the core of Donald Trump's national security policy, foreign policy, there is nothing there. He has no idea what to do. The, the Trump doctrine, there's no policy, there's no strategy, there's no thinking out the, the program. He doesn't know what to do. He has a series of impulses and bluster. Joe. He knows what to do. He tweets. He tweets. And he insults. Well, but you're not personal, gonna... per personal tweets, personal insults. Yeah. That's same thing with well, Joe Scarborough well, or Mika Brzezinski, yeah. uh, uh, Kim Jong-un, right? Tweets them all the same. And people have said, you know, what are we going to do when this guy's confronted with a real crisis? Okay, it's here. here. The yeah. nuclear wolf is at the door. What are you going to do? He has no idea. And frankly, neither do his advisors. Rex Tillerson, no idea. The one good part here is that the, the official response from the United States, aside from the tweets, has come from the Secretary of State, indicating that the diplomatic route is still the preferred route. It's possible that, that, the, that the administration will listen to the advice we're getting from all our allies, Japan, South Korea, the Europeans, and Russia and China, talk, have negotiations, sit down at the table without preconditions, see if we can get a deal. A deal is still possible.